Gregory was born and um, he started to have some um, problems eating right away, right off the bat. And on the fifth day, the neonatologist that was managing the NICU decided that Gregory really didn't fit any, any clear pattern. He was not a premature baby. He was a you know, healthy full-term baby who could not eat and who was starting to deteriorate fairly quickly. Real people, real stories. For those families who, without warning, suddenly find themselves in this one in 25 statistic, the news can be just the beginning of a lifetime of uncertainty. The neonatologist did not know what to tell me. He told me, you know, your, your baby's not moving, your baby's not breathing, and I'm really not sure what to say. And that's not reassuring. <laughs> Raising a child with special needs is a lot of work. Um, none of which I would give up and wouldn't change it ever, but it is a lot of work. But there is hope, and that hope is in the form of the National Birth Defects Center. Founded in 1984 by Dr. Murray Feingold, the National Birth Defects Center's mission is to provide diagnosis and treatment to children born with birth defects, genetic diseases, and mental retardation. Although medical facilities exist to care for these children, Dr. Feingold recognized that something was lacking in the health care system. What was lacking in their care was coordinated care. They weren't receiving this. This is what they needed and what their families needed. So we decided this is what we're going to do. We're going to help these children and their family by providing humanistic coordinated care. They need it and they deserve it and we we're going to get it for them. In addition to coordinating the multiple medical needs of its patients, the National Birth Defects Center offers genetic counseling to prospective parents who have concerns about genetic diseases because of a family history or as a result of abnormal diagnostic tests done during pregnancy. Last year, there were over 25,000 patient visits to the clinic and other services provided by the center. Patients treated at the center or at satellite clinics in their communities frequently need to be seen by two or three specialists per visit. That's a lot of coordination, but unfortunately many families were not receiving this type of needed care. The reason why these children did not receive coordinated care was because it cost money and nobody wanted to pay for it. And this is one of the most important issues about managing these children and their families. They need the coordinated care. So what did we do? We formed the Genesis Fund and it was up to the Genesis Fund now to help these children and their families. The Genesis Fund was founded to help bridge the gap that exists between qualified coordinated medical care and what insurance companies provide. Through fundraising events and private and corporate contributions, the Genesis Fund has raised over $20 million to help fund specialized treatment of New England area children born with birth defects, mental retardation, and other diseases. In addition to supporting the National Birth Defects Center, monies raised by the Genesis Fund also help support other programs that assist these children. Therapy in the Performing Arts offers children and young adults with physical and mental disabilities access to the arts and various sporting activities. Such activities have proven not only to be fun, but also provide needed physical and occupational therapies. The Pregnancy Exposure Info Line is a confidential telephone information service offering its callers access to health educators and physicians with specialized training in genetic diseases and the environmental causes of birth defects. The reimbursement we receive for medical services does not cover the depth or breadth of the types of services we would like to be providing for our patients and their families. The contributions from individuals and corporations are what support those services. So we will like to expand, provide more services for families, and all of that is dependent on the generosity of people contributing to the Genesis Fund for this mission. With the help of the Genesis Fund, the National Birth Defect Center remains a beacon of hope for families facing the lifelong struggle of dealing with the physical, emotional, and financial burdens that are associated with having a child who has physical or intellectual limitations. Not every story has a happy ending, but for those families whose children have been cared for by the National Birth Defect Center, oftentimes there is.
You know, I like to be able to feel as though somewhere along the way, maybe I've helped someone at one point in time to have their life become a little better or have a situation develop that it doesn't seem hopeless. So having an organization like the National Birth Defects Center step up and support parents um, by giving them the help to get in touch with all of the right specialists um, that our children need to see is a huge advantage, a huge weight off of our shoulders that it's one less thing that keeps me up at night. I can't emphasize enough that my children are thriving and, 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 and truly alive today because of the doctors at the National Birth Defects Center um, arranged for us to see. We have truly found the best possible doctors and they, they have been amazing and they've saved my, my children, they've saved their lives, they have made their lives infinitely better. And if I had not had that, it probably would have taken a lot longer for my children, specifically Gregory, to have gotten the care that he needed immediately.